Which piece is it? That piece. Okay. Norman asked me to do a video on. Hey guys, asked me to do a video on, on installing the MST or er, MST 205 5 or er, 510Ds. Uh, these are a direct manufacturer. Er, these are a direct uh, replacement for the 930 series. But what I do is I put it up on a jack, raise that, move the transmission underneath it, take the bolts. Always, what I always do is upgrade these or er, put new bolts in, but make it to where. They're nice and flush on top. Do the back side on this side. Go over here to this side. Tighten her up. It's nice and flush. And then grab your other bolts. Where to put them? Oh, one's already in it. Okay, that works. Alrighty. Pick her up. Oh, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna lower her down. Okay. Having one of these jacks is really helpful. It's an old time car jack. I usually use high lift jacks, but I don't have one over here at this house. I need to bring my camera mount or nothing today. Because I was just trying to get this thing installed. I could pull the exhaust off, but it would just be all the work to put it back on. So, what we're doing, put your washer on. Make sure you got a washer on the bottom. Put your washer on top, grab your nut, and you push her on there. Oh, it's a little difficult with the exhaust here. Oh, babe, there we go. Now, remember, whenever you get these transaxles, you get the right measurements you need. I only paid 93 bucks all together with tax and everything. It was 101 bucks. A lot cheaper than eBay. But I get it locally. If I can get the bolt on there. There we go. Use my finger. Okay. Now I've got my vice grips. I use the long needle nose ones. They work a little bit better. Now what you can do is jack her back up. Let's see. Turns out it's a lot heavier than my regular thought. But more durable, so that's gonna be better. You go ahead and tighten her down. Just flush though. Side. You don't want to tighten one down all the way because then you'll never get the bolts in on the other side. Alright, got my washer, got my nut. Alright, back over here to the other side. Same thing on the other side. Just bolt through. Oh, clean off this old RTB real quick. We don't want that on there. We don't need it on there. I had on there is a little bit of padding for the transaxle. It worked on the 930 until you hit a damn curb going 30 miles an hour and just bust out the bottom of it. I'm gonna lower it back down. A lot easier. Okay. Lower it down. Like this. Take nut. Doesn't matter on these nuts what size you or what side you thread it on. But right. oh, that's not good. Not gonna bust my new transaxle. I've already had this mower fall on me like four or five times working on it in the shop or in the garage at least. It wasn't fun. It's not working for me. I want to turn the wheels. That might help. 
Oh, oh, it's not falling again. Ah, fuck it. We'll sit on the train back. Alrighty, set it down. Lefty Lucy, ready tidy. Clear flush. Well, now you can go ahead and start tightening her down. Oh wait, I probably should put that front bolt in first. Don't lose. Which I probably lost it. No, I put it on the wheel. Don't lose this bolt. You never will find another one that fits it. Alright. Should probably end up bend that back out. It's the only thing different about these. Brackets are a little bit different on the front. Back is back same. on the very edge. Alright. Yeah, since I'm trying to work in the carport because it's raining in here. Move this bracket and bend it back a little bit. Get your pliers, vice grips. Now we start tightening her down. Ugh. Got my vice grips again. I'm going to tighten the front up and then the back. Yeah, if you don't have any of these wrenches, they work wonders. Alright. That front one done. Move over to the other side. Clamp her down. And tighten her up. Find the bolt. There it is. I'm not locking her here, by the way. I'm locking her over the other house. I'm just trying to get it. So I can roll it through the yard, get to my truck, take her home, and then perform surgery. But, I'll let you guys know on these. Uh, sorry, I'm talking away from the camera. I have the wrong size nut on this bolt. But, that's okay. I'm taking her back apart when I go home. I'll go over the other side and do the back. Clamp it down. I use it. Works. Remember, don't go too tight. It's aluminum casing. And you'll break it. Now go over the other side. God. This crap's killing my knees. I drove over to Kansas to pick this one up today, but sure hell beats 150 bucks off of eBay. You can pick it up locally, get it today, get it when you want it. It's got warranty. You're set. Yeah. All right. There we go. Now I'm gonna jack her up. That wasn't good. Come on, Jack. You know what? I'm gonna cheat. I can't do that on the high lift one. I usually put a tire under her, but I'm using my spare tire to prop up the camera, so. Tires. Sucks. 
All right. I'm gonna go grab my tires and put her on. Before I do that, oh, joyful! I gotta find all the washers. Gotta have them like crazy. I want the wide stance. And of course, it starts raining on me. But uh, what I do is on these, I take the thickest one I have, make sure it's greased because it's got to be rubbing on the case. Remember that. Take some grease, rub it around it. Slide that baby on there. And I go on the other side. Do the same thing. Greaser. And then slide it on there. It's just that way when you get the wheels on there really tight, she don't want to rub. But I'm going to go grab my wheels. I'll be right back. Oh, man. Catch wheels. Start. Uh, what I gotta do is I grab gloves. Seasons are blue this time. I got assortments of colors. Cause you never know. You gotta add a little spice to your day. Cut myself right there. Oh well. All right. Now, cause I had a wide body axle in it. This is for a wide body Murray. And yes, I'm putting in the Craftsman. Because, well, I can. You guys can't tell me what to do. We well, can, but it's not like I'm gonna listen. But, uh, grab your shams. Boom on. What I do is I grab another big washer, one of these big ass ones, separate it, slide them on there, both sides, the weather nice and even, then I grab, well two of these little washers gotta go on the outside of the wheel, and they're different thicknesses, okay, those ones safe. Another one on. Go over to the other side and put another one on. And then you put your other one on. And you put your other one on. It's just so you get them evenly whited out. And here. Now I got gotcha. you. My keys. I put my keys on last. So this one's for, so I can uh, adjust them to where I need to. All right, set that one down there. Jack it one more time. Hopefully she don't fall on me. If she does, I am going to be pissed. But uh, I don't know if I already said this, but on these transaxles, they only come with enough lubrication to keep the gears from being getting like dirty and rusty whenever you get by them. 
So don't buy them, throw them in your tractor, and go ahead and ride it. Because you ain't going to have no lubrication really. Only there's about maybe about that much, if you can see it. But that much lubrication in it, and it needs to be about that much so that it gets all the gears. Okay. Yeah. I'll grab my big wheels. I'm gonna do the other one on this side first. And of course, it's not high enough. No, no, no. You better go for it. Alright. Of course. Needs to go higher. That's what I hate about running these big wheels. Alrighty. Once I get the wheel on here, I'm not going to be so worried about it dropping on me. Both wheels, actually. And I think we're going to run into a problem, maybe. Oh, nope. They work. Sweet. I'm going to need more spacers. Joyful. I don't have them on me right now. So I'm going to have to go buy them. But, uh... I'm just gonna give it really wide stance, I suppose. Alrighty, guys. This is gonna be a pause for right now. I'm gonna get some spacers. Or actually, just some more washers. That'll work. But, uh. Alrighty, guys. And then, you gotta, have, you gotta bolt your front bracket on, your two front brackets, your pulley, and you're good to go. But, uh. I used to put the pulley on when I'm done. But, as you can see, I have really no room to work around that. So, the only thing I'm doing is putting her together and putting wheels on her and pushing her to the truck. And then, I'll be welding her up. Alrighty guys, have a good one.